Okay, welcome back to Quote Dr. Octopus, the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Well, maybe not quite that spectacular, but Federal is calling this basically the power of the nine millimeter in the 380 palm of my hand. So a breech bang clear is actually called this probably the biggest announcement of SHOT Show 2022. Um, it is the 30 Super Carry cartridge. So just to be clear and up front, all the information in this video is sourced from Primer Peak Blog, Federal Ammunition, Breach Bang Clear, Nighthawk Custom, and the Wichita Gun Club website, as well as uh, Smith & Wesson. I'll include all links in the description below. 30 Super Carrier, 30 SC as it's commonly going to be called, in a nutshell is 9mm performance and power in a size equivalent of a 380. Yes, you heard me right. This is going to be in a 0.312 inch diameter straight wall cartridge and it has an expansion rate of 1.9 times, almost two times. So this roughly translates, according to Federal Premium, who manufactures this 30 Super Carry, to two extra rounds in a standard 9mm 10 round magazine, which ups the capacity to 12 rounds. Recoil is estimated this time to be extremely close to a standard 9mm Luger. Quick stats on the performance, in other words, penetration and expansion in heavy clothing, something extremely relevant in Alaska and a large portion of the US in the wintertime. Of a 100 grain projectile are 15.5 inches of penetration and 0 0.530 inches of expansion. These are impressive numbers indeed when compared to my current 9mm carry round, which is the 124 grain HST, which boasts 14.5 inches of penetration and 0.571 inches of expansion. On the energy and velocity side, the 100 grain boasts an impressive 1,250 feet per second, 347 foot-pounds of energy versus 1,150 feet per second, and 364 foot-pounds of energy in, again, my favorite 124 grain HST carry load. Testifying to the legitimacy of this new cartridge, both Spear and Remington, in addition to Federal, are coming out with 30 Super Carry offerings. Remington will be pushing out the 100 grain HTP, Spear will be offering 30 Super Carry in their venerable 115 grain gold dots. Federal, of course, will be loading in 100 grain HSTs, whose performance was discussed just prior. FMJs won't be left out with Spear Blazer Brass, Remington UMC, I can just hear how happy Paul Harrell is right now, and Federal American Eagle in 100 grain loadings. Smith & Wesson, in terms of platforms to shoot the 30 Super Carry, is going to be leading the affordable way in offering their extremely popular light slide racking 380 Shield EZ and 30 Super Carry. Uh, just FYI, the Shield EZ was the 19th most popular firearm overall on Gunbroker for 2021, largely owing to the ergonomic, comfortably sized frame, manual safety, uh, grip safety, and the easy rack slides. It just appeals to a lot of people who are just looking for that one firearm just for self-defense and just something that's really easy to use. Two models of the Shield EZ 30 Super Carry are going to be initially releasing. The only difference between those being that one has a manual safety, one comes without. As mentioned prior in Federal's information, the previous Shield EZ versions in 9mm and 380 ACP only carried 8 plus 1 and now will field 10 plus 1 in the 30 Super Carry. So again, you got that plus 2 capacity, which is such an appealing feature of the 30 Super Carry. Stats are largely the same as the other Shield EZ models with the Easy Rack Slide, internal hammer fired system, 18 degree grip angle, reversible mag release, windage adjustable rear sights, a white dot front sight, pick rail for lights lasers, easy takedown without having to pull the trigger, and the grip safety. Obviously, again, you've got manual safety choice or non-manual safety choice, but grip safety comes on both. Releases so far coming out of the common man's offering into the Park Avenue price range are the Nighthawk Custom GRP 1911 5-inch, new 30 Super Carry with iOS cut and Trigicon RMR plate, which would hands down be my choice if it was roughly $3,000 cheaper. And Nighthawk is also offering the Nighthawk Custom President model and 30 Super Carry right now. 
So that's all the info I have so far, but suffice it to say when a new cartridge releases with starting block support from Remington and Spear along with Smith & Wesson and Nighthawk Custom, I have to take Federal's performance claim seriously and I personally can't wait to give this new cartridge a whirl. Um, I can just see and like sense Alaskan Ballistics right now salivating at the chance to test the 30 Super Carry and see if their numbers are right. Can't wait to see his videos. So what do you think? Is this going to come and go like the 224 Valkyrie, which was such a big deal at a prior SHOT Show? Or do you think this is potentially going to supplant the 9mm Luger as the most popular carry cartridge given enough time? Would you be willing to try it out if it had the same performance as your 9mm, but it could pack in two more rounds? Would you trade out your current 9mm carry for something in 30 Super Carry? Um, if more manufacturers offer current models in this new cartridge, let me know in the comments below. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon if you get the chance. Every little bit helps. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. You've made the last month such a big um, blessing for my channel. Appreciate each and every one of you trying to get to all the comments. It's been tough. Doing my best. Thanks for joining me on the journey. LW Road, out.